Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Game Face. My name is Max. And I'm Lindsay. And we're playing Asagao Academy Normal Boots Club. For those of you who don't know what the heck is going on, this is a dating sim about the crew from Normal Boots on YouTube. You know, JonTron and Pro Jared and Pro Gerard the Finish Complete. Let's see these guys. It's, it's a game that exists and we're playing it together. We sure are. We're gonna date people. <laughs> Who are we gonna date? Are we gonna date PBG? Ah! Uh, Gerard? Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, Shane. I forgot about Shane. Shane's the guy who does, uh, friggin', what's he called? You, you didn't know Jack Gaming. You don't know Jack Gaming. What? She's pretty. But yeah, I can't date her. Can I she's date girl. her, please? No, you can't have girls. You gotta have those sexy meat uh, meat girl? wads. Did or you know gaming? That's what I was trying to say when I said you don't know Jack gaming. Oh my God! Look, they love each other. Dude. I'm oh, I'm so what excited! Is... I'm gonna date the crap out of these people. Oh. God. Oh look, they're having pillow talk. That could be us, and it will be. What is that? No. Oh, they don't like him. Oh no! <laughs> it's, it's gonna be alright, dude. He's butt. <laughs> Look at their fat lashy. I want to date Brutal, Brutal Moose. Guys. I want Brutal Moose. I also want to date Brutal Moose. Can I have Brutal Moose? I legit would date him. That's the end of that thought. Brutal Moose has a really nice smile. I'm gonna say, <laughs> if I was gay, man, I think he would be the one for me. <laughs> he would be the one for you. All right, let's play this crazy awesome. game. Academy, Normal Boots Club. Who's that? Is that was that Gerard? Was that Jared? I don't know. I don't know. It was somebody. I wasn't listening. It's Chapter very quiet. One. Well, it's not quiet, it but much. it's. It, it, you were talking, so. I do talk sometimes. Oh my God! It's Animal Crossing. The train made its way along the gentle curve of the coast of Japan, whisking me farther and farther. Why can't you be a dude in this? I think that was one of the stretch it was a goals stretch I didn't goal make. Thing, yeah. Boo. Across from me sat a boy, half face, half buried in a newspaper. Who do you want to guess it is? You want to take a guess? Oh, if they're looking at a newspaper, it's probably random guy. He was deeply entranced in whatever article he was reading and hadn't spoken a single word to me, even when I asked if I could join him in the last compartment with an available space. What a jerk. You shouldn't ignore people. He shrugged, nodded, and adjusted his newspaper without ever making eye contact. It's been almost an hour, in fact, and he hadn't once looked at me. Mm. He's just shy. Okay. Devoid of conversation. I took instead to counting... I can't fucking talk. I took instead to counting the buttons on the pretentiously lush carmine seat cushions. Is that what that word is? Carmine? I guess. One, two, three... I don't see any buttons. Twenty-one, twenty-two, I think and this lady's so dreaming. <laughs> over and over, dreaming of buttons. Now and again, I turned to look at the window where the trees were blurring by like that... Sometimes the smeared green would break and reveal the quiet blue of the Sea of Japan. We're not in Japan! Eventually. Are we? Yeah, we are. It said. Weird. This rapid did tea. Rapidity. Made my stomach churn, and I went back to counting the buttons on the sea cushions. Five, five, six. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. My tablet made noise. Where were we? Rapidity of my stomach churning. One, two. Start it over again? Three. Jesus. The train compartment shuddered around us. My eyes wandered to the boy in his penis. I mean, his jacket. <laughs> his jacket. Sorry. It wasn't the school-issued blue that I had, s that I and the other students on the train were wearing. Instead, it was a green varsity-like jacket with an embroidered patch poorly sewn on front. Oh, it was Jared. It was Jared. That was my first guess. He's sparkling. She's I don't. Like, I'm beautiful. So, you're a first year then. He I... folded his newspaper neatly, sat in his lap, and looked at me with an half-interested no... gaze. Is there no voice? He said, hmm. Did he just catch me staring? Look how flashy he is. He's like a, <laughs> he's like a vampire from Twilight. <laughs> now that the paper was gone, I saw his face. He watched me through heavy-lidded eyes. Don't... His hair was <laughs> immaculately groomed. His teeth straight and blindingly bright. I can't see his teeth. <laughs> but it is the sparkling through his whole body. Uh, I guess. Oh, like he can't, like, he can't be bothered to put on his tie. There was something about him. The way the light hit him <laughs> that made him look like he was almost sparkling. Um, Me? So that's us. I guess. We're Hana. 
Uh, he glanced around the compartment, <laughs> empty beside us, and laughed. Oh. You can be the. Oh lady. no, I don't want to. Okay, I'll be the girl then. Oh, okay. Oh no, I'm not a first year. I'm a third year. The train began to slow. Metal wheels groaning against the metal tracks. I added a word. The sudden shift threatened to rob me of whatever was left in my stomach, but I closed my eyes and took a deep breath. Oh, don't be such a puss. Willing <laughs> myself to keep it together. You can do it. And then I threw up all over <laughs> him, right in his lap. What kind of impression would I leave puking on a student before I even arrived at the academy? Not a very good one. The boy frowned. I picked at the hem of my cotton shirt. Yeah, that's not impossible. I've never seen you before. I mean, that's not possible. I've never seen you before. I know, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> took me a moment of mouth fishing. I read that as mouth fisting, and I don't know why. <laughs> but I'm just, oh. I'm just gonna move on to find a response. I, uh, it's because I'm a transfer student? Uh, transfer students are always fisting their mouths. He laughed again. <laughs> I love a good mouth fisting. <laughs> Transfer student, huh? We don't get many of those. Why does he sound like that? Because I don't know who it is yet, so that's the Jared. What is Jared? Oh, it, but it, no, it's question. Oh, we don't know his name yet. Yes, Dingus. <laughs> I thought it was somebody else. I'm so stupid. It's Jared. I removed my acceptance letter from the front pocket of my uniform. The paper heavyweight off-white had uh, accumulated creases from the reading and rereading, as if the words might have changed since the last time I read it. That's not how it I like how my inside voice is a man. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's just the way it's going to be. This is the narrator. The boy took it, studied it, and then handed it back to me. I'll see you around. Okay, now that I know it's him. Well then, Hannah. I suppose I'll be seeing you around. I think it's Hannah. 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 Whatever. He <laughs> smiled at me as he picked up the suitcase lying next to him. By the time I hiccuped a response, he was already gone from the compartment. I took his newspaper. <laughs> I stared out into the empty hallway of the train. It was then that I realized, having gotten it from my acceptance letter. He knew your name. Yeah, he knew my name. How do you know and that? He never got his. How did that happen? It's the acceptance letter. I know who he was. The train settled at the station, and I filed out with the rest of the uniformed students. It was early April, and the last frost of winter had come and gone. That's true, it's nicer today. The trees were already green, their leaves shivering in the occasional gust weaving through them. The Do you want me to read? Go for it. <laughs> the air was mild, only a few clouds hanging in the sky. I might not be any better. I walked along the road with a swarm of blue jacket bodies, looking at a little group breaking off from the crowd. Everyone was buzzing so animatedly. Animatedly? Yeah, around me. They did that. I held my suitcase tight in my sweaty hands. It was leather bound and worth more than anything it contained. <gasps> it wasn't far to the school and I was for the first time in my life thankful that what I owned didn't amount to much. Hooray! My school issued black Oxfords click click clicked <laughs> on the pavement. Oh, your, your the, shoes. They click click clicked. I walked this walk over and over in my mind. So many nights I lay awake, imagining what it would be like to walk from the station, train station to Asagao Academy this first time. My new start. I always imagined that everything would change for me on this walk. Why did you want to go here so bad? It's good. That somehow everything would be magically different. It will be. But as I looked around, I realized nothing had changed. Oh no, it's the same. I hadn't changed. By the time I reached the massive gate to the academy, I forgot all about the disappointing slouching in the back of my throat. The school, framed by the gate's twisted black metal, was just a be as beautiful as the glossy photos I saw in its pamphlet. This was it. Asagao Academy. Look at it! It's a school. <laughs> I glanced around. The swarm of students gathered around the gate. Beyond it, tiny blue people bounced around the academy's main building. Oh, we should get the tiny blue people. A girl pressed a button to one side of the gate. The excitement in the air was almost palpable. A few moments later, the black gate, with great effort, creaked outwards and cleared the path. I, did way. It. I made the sound effect. As the rest of the group shifted into motion, I followed along a sheep in the herd. <laughs> There's a sheep here. <laughs> My stomach tied itself in knots. That was a stomach noise. Perfect. The crowd split into different directions. For a moment, I panicked. Oh no! Then oh. Oldie Magoo came along. <laughs> Who's this member of Hidden Block? <laughs> Oldie McOlderson. 
I love him. A tired looking man with graying hair called out for the first years. A cluster of fresh faced students gathering around him. It's obviously Ross from Game Grumps. Perfect. Hey, hey, look at that girl, said a tall boy. I turned a few feet away, a small group of boys were pointing at me and snickering. Pink hair, are you kidding me? How desperate can you get? Hot shame crawled down my neck. What a bunch of dicks. I attached myself to a group of girls, following a few steps behind them. They were like, yeah, why is this girl attached to us? In the distance, cicadas hummed in time to my shoe crunching against gravel. My hair. It wasn't my fault that my hair looked like this. I dyed it this way. <laughs> Wait, it is my fault. <laughs> oh, <whoops. laughs> Luckily, I found myself at the girls' dormitory, a large sign in the lawn reading Primrose House. The building dwarfed me in size and sheer intimidation. How many students did Asagao have? Seven. One. Oh, hi there. <laughs> there she is. As I approached the building, a redheaded girl lingering nearby caught my attention. I looked away, then looked back, then looked away, looked back again. She was staring at me, so I looked away. And then what'd you do? I looked back. Okay. <laughs> she walked over. And then I looked back. Then I looked away. Oh, you must be my roommate! Yes. I yes, am. I am. I eyed, eyed oh. her warily. She was smiling and bouncing in a way that suggested her views on life were akin to a perpetual bouncing castle. Bouncing what? castle. Me? Of course, you silly. Let me guess. Room 325? I thought back to the paper I received a month prior with a list of all the supplies I needed for the year in my dorm's arrangements. Uh, um, yeah, that's right. <laughs> she laughed, but I couldn't figure out what was so funny. It's me. I'm funny. She was laughing at me? When I found out my roommate was a transfer student, I knew you were gonna t be a total main character. Because she has pink hair! I'm sorry. I'm a main character. I'm sorry I'm a main character. Mm -hmm. When I saw you outside the gate, I knew it was you. I mean, look at that hair. She had to be making fun of me. I hadn't spent more than five minutes on campus, and I was already being mocked. Well, time to go home. <laughs> My hands began to tremble. I punched her. Then I punched her right in the face. Is, is there something wrong with my hair? Well, yes, oh, there no. is, actually. <laughs> Boy, yes, there is, her okay. face slackened from its amused smile to a more worried expression. Oh, no, you offended us. Then she began to laugh again. Yay. <laughs> no, no, it's great. I'm sorry. Yes, we are. My Sasaki. You guys have to, like, understand that Lindsay and I both inhabit the body of this this girl. I bowed my head. <laughs> Hello. It's nice to meet you, Mai. All your school books are waiting in our room with your welcome letter. And I read the envelope. Hooray! Don't read my envelope. I hope you're not mad. I I'm am. mad. I'm, I'm fuming. I'm pretty mad. Mai started walking toward the dorm's front doors. I followed behind like a lost puppy. Did you check in at the front desk already? No, I didn't. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to. Didn't know I was supposed to. You didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know! You didn't know that oh you were God. supposed to not know that you were supposed to do it? Good! They'll offer to have a staff member give you a tour of the campus, and I can show you around. You don't get many transfer students in year three, you know. What's this? What happens if I click that? I don't know. Oh. Dear Diary, Barbara, Barbara, me. Today's the day I finally go to Asagawa Academy. I couldn't sleep at all last night when my dad dropped me off to the train station. He took a hair and stroked my hair. You gotta, you look like your mother. I'm gonna have a crush on every boy. That's the plan. Oh, is that your only bag? Just the one? I'm glad I brought an extra bag of stuff to decorate our room with. I started already. I hope you don't mind. But I did wait to string the lights. I thought we could do it together, you know? She spoke quickly, the words bubbling from her mouth, and left me no time to answer until the end of her monologue. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. She held the front door open for me, and I hurried inside. Oh, it's all pink. Oh, God. Look how pink it is. Don't you just Girls want to eat it? Girls filed up and down the hallway, howling greetings and exchanging vague niceties that were, more often than not, how was your break? Or, look at how tan you got. Or, how because of howling. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> A few of them were actual dogs. <laughs> it seemed like everyone knew each other. You're not missing anything with the campus tour, I promise. Mr. Saitomo does them every year, and he's, like, totally dull. So dull. He just drags you around the entire campus, talks in that weird, squeaky voice of his. Oh, I know, right? His squeaky I voice. I don't know who that is. 
I'll tell you everything you need to know. Lindsay, that's not a squeaky voice. Or let's just, that's her. I thought she was imitating I'm not trying to let this calm my nerves. We headed down a hallway on the third floor. My stopped us in front of a door number 325. Remember that, Lindsay. That's going to be an important number. 325. You remember that. 325, 325, 325. Here oh, we phone? go. Oh, my God. A butt. Look at a butt. Look at that butt. Oh, this, butt. this girl likes butts. And tortured souls. Yep. Only my guitar understands me, Tor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Goodness me. A faint smell of pot potpourri wafted through the room. The walls, like the hallway, were a soft, powdery pink. That's how you spell potpourri. Yep. Really? Potpourri. I learned something. My already defaced them with a tapestry of posters, magazine cutouts, and photographs. Some of the photos were of cats, but most of them were male models in rugged musicians. And male cat models. Male and models. Rugged cat male cats. Musicians. A bunk bed, two writing desks with wooden chairs, a small dresser, and a mirror vanity, all clearly provided by the school, were the only pieces of furniture in the tiny room. The top bunk was already covered in neatly tucked blankets and throw pillows of clashing patterns and colors we're gonna be bunk buddies yeah. oh that's cool this one has like a curtain on it i like it the bottom one bunk had a single still looking pillow and a thin cotton blanket that i didn't need to touch to know how <laughs> it was horribly itchy stiff stiff, stiff. got it <laughs> can anybody see your mouse yeah okay <laughs> i must have grimaced because my quickly smiled at me we're gonna do it I brought way too many pillows and blankets. I always overpack. I went to Italy over break and mom got really mad at me because I bought five bags. And we were only there for a week. My. <laughs> she laughed, my. pulled several blankets and pillows from her bunk and arranged them neatly on mine. We didn't even bring pillows or blankets. We're stupid. I placed my suitcase on the bottom bunk and began to unpack its contents. Several changes of clothes, pens and pencils, empty notebooks, a few photographs of my father, a dilapidated stuffed rabbit, an old portable radio, and a small black box. My opened the curtains and the sunlight poured in. Here's the sunlight. See it? Sunlight. So, where are you from? I slid the now empty suitcase under the bottom bunk. About two hours north of here. It's a small town called Amaririsu? <laughs> you probably haven't heard of it. Oh, you know, just a small town called Amaririsu. <laughs> I don't know what the town is called. I don't know how to pronounce the name There's of There's a lot town. of A's. I set the stuffed rabbit, Mr. Bunny. Mr. Bunny. On my bed beside a purple oh, and teal throw pillow. We love Mr. Bunny. Oh, did you go to a different boarding school or... No, I went to a public school down the street from my house. It's called Aurora Academy. Public school? What's yeah, public, public school. You got a problem with that? She's asking for a fight. Why you got what was that like? Were students mean? Did you have a lot of friends? I always yes, went yes. to private schools. My parents work a lot and my dad goes overseas. So I think they stuck me here for convenience. Oh, hey, what's that? What? The mirror? I'd removed an ornately patterned origami crane from the black box and was setting it on the unclaimed writing desk. What black box? She brought a black box with her apparently, it. and it has Why a bird do you have in it. Xbox 360s and one small. Oh, this? <laughs> My mother made it for me a long time ago. I set it beside a stack of thick textbooks, which I assumed were provided for me. They were. Aww. Wow, it's so pretty. Cheating. I've never seen paper like that before. <gasps> oh yeah, the lights. Let me get them. Mai went to her own desk, opened the drawer, and pulled out a long, tangled string of fairy lights. What the heck are fairy? Oh, they're probably those, aren't they? <laughs> Oh, you already put them up! Yeah, God. <laughs> I thought these would look nice. Here, help me string them up. Okay, here we go. Lynn, get this side. Lynn, put, put your side up. I got... She's not playing along. <laughs> oh no, what did I do? What have you done? Save the game. Save data. Reach three. Click, click this. Stop it. Stop it. That's too I much. I did it. <laughs> she grabbed a container of pushpins, then pulled her wooden desk chair out and over to one wall. I did the same with my own. Together we pinned the lights around the perimeter of the room. How was the train ride over? Did you meet anyone? Yeah. No. She, not really. We did so- I was so... in the compartment with some guy and- What? Some guy, huh? Was he cute? Oh yeah, I threw up on him. Why awesome. are you blushing over this, fool? She's easily turned oh, uh, on. Oh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't even get his name. Mai seemed disappointed for a moment, then perked back up. You'll have to point him out to me if you see him again. Okay. He's that really hot guy. 
It's a guy with a shininess. Oh my god, it looks I like a blow once, shot. Once we finished stringing out the lights, Mike climbed down from her chair and brushed her hands through together triumphantly. Through. Yeah. <laughs> Done! We did it! Okay, now it's time for lunch. Complete. The food here is pretty good. There's this ramen place down the street from campus like oh, that's I like want it. out of this world! I want it! <laughs> but the school only lets us leave campus on weekends. Oh no. Is it a weekend? We could go today because it's Sunday. It's pretty nice out, but I guess you might want to go to the cafe instead since you got here. We could. But <laughs> she was suddenly interrupted by her own enthusiastic oh laughter. Oh god, our roommate's insane. Oh my gosh, Mimi Santos totally just tripped outside and fell on her face. I saw it. Oh, that Mimi Santos, what a card. Oh, is that mean to laugh? Maybe I shouldn't have. Oh well, anyways, let's go eat. I'm totally starved. What do we have? Oh yeah, ramen. I was there. She let me out the room before I even had a chance to respond. I stepped into the line behind my taking an empty plastic tray. We shuffled through, asking for helpings from the sulky cafeteria workers when we passed something that looked good. Is it a person? Is it John? Mmm, like, hey there. Oh, can I have a piece of that with my lunch? With full trays, my led me straight to a table in the back where a few students were already sitting. My sat down and I took a seat ne across from her. It's a That's lady. That's not a girl. Hi, Mai. How was your break? It was good. I went to Italy and Spain. Dad fell off a ski jet and broke his ankle. That's hilarious. It's better now, though. Oh, well, that's nice. I expected to be introduced, but the girl turned back to her group of friends and Mai turned back to me. She began to assault her food with a fork <laughs> and tell me, <laughs> Die, food, die! <laughs> in a practically minute-by-minute -minute account about her fleeting romance last summer with a boy she met on the beach that didn't go any further than a few salty kisses. <laughs> oh, the <Ew>. salty kisses. <laughs> I sat back and let my talk. For the first time since arriving at campus, I felt like I was finally able to breathe. I picked up my Brussels sprouts and studied my as she spoke. I thought we were having ramen. No, we didn't go to the ramen place. We oh. went to a caf cafeteria. The more she talked, the more I began to notice small details about her. Oh boy, we're gonna look at her. She had a high songbird voice. See that, Lindsay? Is, you, gotta, you gotta change your voice up. What? She was dynamic, her face twisted this way and that into exaggerated expressions as she spoke. She does do that, I see it now. <laughs> she laughed often. She intimidated people in wildly unflattering voices. Wait, she imitated people. <laughs> That's what you said. Imitated people. I thought oh I said God. imitate, in, intimidated. Oh, uh, maybe you did. I don't know. She imitated people. She imitated people. <laughs> in wildly unflattering voices, seemingly unrelated to her actual opinion on them. How dare she? But most notably, she talked a lot. A lot. I didn't find this particularly annoying as it filled the silence and she hardly ever asked questions that required my full attention. In other words, I just don't have to listen to it. Just as Maya was rounding off a shockingly detailed account of times she was accidentally walked in on her friend's older brother in the act of changing, oh, no. a flash of familiar green caught my eye. <gasps> familiar green. I glanced over. <laughs> hey, that's him. It's Jeez. Huh? Who? I leaned across the table to whisper just in case he could hear me through the ambient chatter of the, through the ambient chatter of the lunchroom. Here he comes. The boy from the train. That's him. What? Jared? Oh, it's Jerry! Um, yeah, with the weird green jacket and swoopy hair. He's got the swoopy hair. He just picked up his tray and was walking past us when something seemed to catch his eye. Oh, hmm? hello there. Oh, you. Lindsay, I get to be Oh, Jared. wait, you're Jared. <laughs> okay. Oh, you. I looked up at him, suddenly realizing he was talking to me. Hannah. Hannah, I met you on the train. How are things settling down for you? <laughs> really well. I found my roommate and she's been helping me out. Look at him sparkle. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I gestured to Mai, who was thunderstruck. In fact, looking around, everyone was. People stopped eating to turn and stare at Jared and me. My shoulders bunched around my neck. <gasps> well, if you ever need any help, I'll be around. 30, right? I nodded. <laughs> All right. Some of my friends are in that ear. Of course, they can't compare to me, but I'll give them the heads up to look out for you. Jared, you're, you're, so, in. you're so cocky. He flashed a dazzling smile, then winked. <laughs> it's the least I can do for such a cute girl. Uh, well, I'll see you around. Stranger danger! <laughs> <laughs> I watched a torrent of thoughts raging through my head as he took a seat next to a bunch of guys who were all wearing the same jacket. What the hell? <laughs> That's Jared! She tore her eyes away from him and looked at me. He's so cute. 
He's the most beautiful <laughs> guy in school. He is he? <laughs> Can't believe he just looked at me. I looked at Mai. Her cheeks were glowing with an indecent pink. It's, it's true. Indecent, I believe that is. I don't know. Why do they all wear those jackets? Aren't all guys supposed to wear blue blazers as part of their uniform? No, they're special. They have a YouTube channel. No, they're allowed to. They're... You know Jared. No. no. You know Jared, says someone? Oh, right. It's Mimi. Mimi had turned back around and was looking at me with sudden interest. I... Did I know him? I only talked to him on the train for a few moments. So not really. We weren't friends or anything. Yes, you are. You had a real connection. But looking around, Mai and this girl weren't the only ones who were interested. Everybody seemed to be listening in. You guys are going steady. They seemed so surprised when he talked to me. Maybe a little white lie couldn't hurt? Oh! No, no, no. Max, choices. No. Not no, no, really. No. Oh. I want to be the girl. It's no can use I be the girl. Lying. Okay, you can be the girl. Oh, yeah, I forgot you were the girl. Ow. Ow. She looked me up and down, sniffed, and turned away. Yeah, <sighs> you're a bitch. Go away. Whatever. My lean towards me. Hmm. Don't mind Mimi. She was just trying to get in with you. Oh, she's the one who fell down earlier. And we laughed. Was she? Yeah. Get in with me. Why? Because you're hot. Get into me. <laughs> yeah, why? why is she trying to get into me? Well, you asked me about those guys in their jackets, right? Those are their normal, normal boots, boots clothes jackets. See, they got you some <laughs> What the heck so they is that normal boots? They're what? <laughs> well, sometimes they wear normal boots. What's normal boots club? Well, uh, oh my god, look at them. They're doing stuff. They're looking <laughs> at the beard. Jared. Oh, he's looking at the beard. He's talking. It's, it's a club we have up. at school here. It's like totally exclusive and full of only the coolest students. <laughs> Jacques has a jacket. I thought Jacques was an actual <coughs> path. Are you serious? I don't know if they got reached that goal or not, but he was supposed to have like a romance path or something. Oh, that or some kind of route. Hilarious. I don't know if it's technically romance, but. So let's drink. see. We got John. We got Peanut Butter Gamer. We got Jared. We've got. Oh, what's his name? Uh, Satch? Satchbag, yes. <laughs> Shane, Gerard, and the guys from the show. So this is. Continue show. Paul? Yup. Yeah. Nick. Yeah. What is his name? I haven't watched it in so long. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll figure it out. They get together and play video games. I love video games. Or something. <laughs> I love something. We're going for Jacques. That one right there is John, also known as John Tron. His bird's name is Jacques. Sure is. Why does he bring a bird to school? John is also the president of the drama club here at school. Because they're best friends, Lindsay. God. Scraw! Next to him is PBG. He and John founded the Normal Boots Club together. PBG is one of the best soccer players on the team. Oh, PBG looks on so our sly. Team. Look at him. She's like, mm, I'm yes. playing this game. I'm playing the hell out of this Game Boy over here. Then there's Gerard. People call him the completionist because he's obsessed with completing things. He has the biggest itty bitty kitty collection <laughs> I've ever seen. The hell is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Gerard. <laughs> Next name is Jared, also known as Pro Jared. He's a model. He's a model. <laughs> oh my god, that's too funny. <laughs> then there's Satchpeg, but everyone calls him Satch. He's like crazy smart. He's so smart. Those guys. Oh, I like Paul, right. His name's Paul. Josh. We had Paul. Yeah. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like how they come as a, a, a group. Mm -hmm. It's like, you could have all three of these guys. <laughs> They're one. Path. They're Paul, Nick, and Josh. They I'm write gonna... a column in the school newspaper called Continue. <laughs> I'm going to get with Continue Show. <laughs> mm. Paul, the one standing up, is the student council president. Ooh, I think they're having a thing. Look at He's that. like, right. at very I won't touch that. And the guy on the end here, Shane, he knows more about video games than anyone. You Ever! Know. She exhaled a dreamy sigh into her mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine her <coughs> sticking her head in mashed potatoes. This <laughs> makes them taste better. Pro tip. <laughs> <laughs> so, how would someone, you know, join the Normal Boots Club? I want to join. You don't choose the normal. You don't choose the boots, Hana. The ch boots choose you. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh, you know. You know. You have to be presented with the boots to be in the club, and they're like super selective. So selecta. What are the boots? The boots. <gasps> the club has this boot statue. It's like the one on their patches, and it's gold plated. It's their mascot, I guess. They do this weird intuition, insti 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 ritual with it. <laughs> what was it? Those mashed potatoes. <laughs> Your size. 
<laughs> Ritual? What did I put in those sighs? <laughs> I hear they fill a room with candles and wear these totally creepy robes during initiation. This year two girls said she saw it once and they were all like chanting about around <laughs> the boots and it sounded like they were talking backwards. I'm scared now. She, she's blushing. She's drunk. <laughs> but I don't believe her. And even if it's true, I, I don't care if they're a cult because they're all really hot. I mean, that's really hot. They're all really hot. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have a lot of friends? Are you okay? <laughs> You're supposed to get drunk at school. Yeah, tons of friends. Yeah, tons of friends. I say they're the most popular kids in school. I mean... Everyone in the school totally looks up to them. I, I, I bet they could get any girl in the school, too. <laughs> <laughs> or boy, for that matter. So my, how are those potatoes? <laughs> Great! <laughs> hey, are you going to eat the cake? Okay? <laughs> Finish your damn potatoes. <laughs> I shook my head and pushed the plastic tray across the table to her. She began to eat the tray. Thanks! BFF. <laughs> For the remainder of lunch, I listened to my talk about Jared through mouthfuls of half-dissolved frosting. All over all the back of the dorm, I sorted through the pile of textbooks that school left for me. My radio was playing a poppy tune, Pop -tune. equal parts music to static. Pop -tune. Pop hey. Hey, my. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm she didn't bother to look up. Am I supposed to have a textbook for history three hundred nine? Uh, she shuffled through the papers on her desk before producing a thick textbook. A demure man in a powdered wig frowned at me from the cover. Oh, let's get with the demure wig man. Yeah, this one. Oh, you sobered up, huh? <laughs> I sighed. <laughs> She's coming down. I don't have that one. School must have missed it. Oh, no. My shrugged and set the textbook back in her pile. You uh, Lend it to me. They have a bunch at the library. You can go just check it one out. Oh, boy. Where's the library? My rifled through her notebooks and wrote something down. She tore the page out and handed me a crudely drawn map. Oh. Okay, well, I'll be back in a bit. All right, here we go to the textbook store. <gasps> the library was much larger than I expected. The walls lined from, lined from floor to ceiling with books of all sizes on rough wooden shelves. Intimidated, I headed for the front desk. It's a nice looking library. A recognizably green and gray jacket was bent behind the counter. Oh, it's a normal, normal boot. Normal boots. Who is it? I briefly considered running away. Is that an option? Screaming. Ah! Ah! He's gonna oh, throw sorry. his glasses at me. Can I help? <laughs> Jesus oh wait, you're Christ, sorry. You, I, was, I was startled by the green. Uh, can I help you? Too late. <laughs> uh, yeah. The school forgot to give me one of my textbooks. I was told I could get it here. Which one is it? The History 309 textbook. He stepped from behind the counter and motioned for me to follow. He dodged between the aisles in a comfortable silence. We both did that. He seemed friendly enough. I should say something. What was his name again? He's got the boots badge. Pro Jared? Shane, Gerard, John? <laughs> no, not John. All of Definitely them. not John. She Sash. did it. She didn't even need her help. Maybe you should... Huh? Oh, wait, who... I, how do you know me? You fuck... Oh, um... You work here? He Dude. chuckled, dimples appearing in his cheeks. I keep forgetting that I'm reading this. <laughs> <laughs> I can read if you want me to. Yeah, I'm the librarian's assistant. It's my second year and I love it. I get to help people find books that speak to them. Those are the best kind of books. The ones that speak to people. Blah, blah, blah. I like to open them up and close them and say, Hi, I'm a book. <laughs> his eyes twinkled like a kid on Christmas. I love Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. You like Christmas? Oh, right. I'm, I'm that guy. You're that guy. Your book's right down here. He stopped at a row of thick, dusty books. Was this all history? And pulled out the book with the powdered wig man I saw earlier. Yeah, it's Powder Man. <laughs> I love Powder Man! Powder Man! <laughs> he waved his hand. All right, next time on Game Face, he's going to wave his hand. He already did it. He's doing it right now. Well, it's happening. See? We're, See? we're saving the game. He is keeping a good hold on those glasses. So, guys. So, guys. That was Asagao Academy. Mm -hmm. That was the first episode. If you guys want to be seeing more of this... Be sure to let us know in the comments. I'm Be sure to hit that like sorry button. Sorry about my reading abilities. And if you thought it was the worst thing you ever said, saw in your life, then let us know and I won't do any more. But I kind of want to do more. It's fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
so I'm doing all the reading. I can read more in the scene. Am I doing too. okay? We I can hope switch I am. Up. I'll, I'll narrate more. I'm You're very self conscious of my reading. Job. Guys, let us know. We don't do a lot of visual novels, so any feedback is appreciated or whatever because it's fun, but we're, we're noobs. So I hope you enjoyed watching us hit on people from normal boots. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.